Good morning guys. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another video. I am doing something different this week. I want to try a weekly vlog style video where I attempt to vlog pretty much a little bit of what I'm doing um, every day this week. Um, I've been up early this morning, gotten ready. I filmed a video already. So um, by the time you guys see this vlog, the video would have been out already. But um, I have a few things on my agenda today. Um, I do need to go pick up some paint from Sherwin-Williams. We have started the project in our basement and I am going to show you guys that in just a second, in a little bit. Um, but I need to pick up the paint. Our contractor will be back tomorrow to really get started on um, some of the major, major um, parts of the project. So um, he will start painting tomorrow. So I have to go get the paint from Sherwin Williams. And I also really want to go to the mall and go to Free People. Um, there are some sunglasses that I have been seeing um, floating around on the internet that I want to see and kind of maybe try on and see if they look good on me. I am revamping my sunglasses collection and I've gotten some really, really nice sunglass pieces lately. So I want to add those to my collection. But yes, it's Monday. I'm full of energy. I haven't even had coffee yet. Um, I don't know why I'm this excited because I'm on my cycle and I'm in pain currently. So also this was really sweet of my honey he made me a fruit smoothie and brought me a granola bar um as my breakfast i thought that was so cute we are like a week out from taking our engagement photos so since like last year december we've been in the gym heavy we've been really consistent trying to eat well so that was really sweet of him to make this for me and get me off to a great start for the day it's actually really delicious i'm tasting pineapple I don't know pineapple and some berries but it is really good today is an adidas sweatsuit kind of day just chilling and vibing the weather looks really nice outside but this is literally probably how i'm gonna step out with some big shades and some sneakers so i have made my bed but I do need to take care of some laundry so I'm about to fold up some laundry before I head downstairs I just want to take care of it but I say all that to say get into the habit of making your bed it'll definitely just make you more motivated in the mornings it's clean it's nice to look at just a pro tip for productivity
book, you told me karma's a thing You had a lot of delusions, decided I was the blame Got mad when we went our separate ways, wreaked havoc Your ego was way too hard, you look shattered I almost cut my finger on your sharp edges Forget the lies you told, I hope you feel better I didn't leave because you stopped me, I just pressed play I bet you choose so we made a purchase from Lowe's yesterday and they are currently here right now to deliver it. Um, it's probably going to be all wrapped up so I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you but I'll definitely explain what it is. Oh shit. couch probably yeah. so I wanted to give you guys an update on the basement it is looking kind of crazy down here right now just because work is in progress like I told you um, our contract will be back tomorrow to really get started on the work work so and we just got the delivery from um, Lowe's which is I'm really happy with it actually I'm about to show you guys that in just a second but um, just a quick rundown of what our contractor did do while he was in yesterday um, he put a plug here and he put wiring up here to be able to put another plug um, this is where our bar is gonna be this area right here our bar is going to be flush with the wall, so unfortunately we're probably not going to have access to this right here, this plug. So he created another one so that we could plug in our Bardison machine or plug in anything else we need to plug in. Um, also, our bar comes with some ambient lighting inside and we are going to need to plug that in as well. So he put in new sockets here on this wall. The other thing that he did is our accent wall had um, a little bit of texture to it, I guess. He is, our contractor is the one who did this accent wall and it came out gorgeous, but a couple days after he completed it, um, I guess it started to, the, the paint or something started to pop basically and there was like texture on the wall. So he kind of just puttied the texture over and he's going to sand it down and repaint this. But we actually decided to change the color altogether of this accent wall. It's just not really giving what it's supposed to give in my opinion or it's not really the vibe that we wanted i was super happy with this color but i'm kind of trying to think of everything cohesively together like with the bar and just everything and i don't really think that this color is right for us so we are changing it and that's why i'm going to go pick up paint today and then um the next thing that he did was install some picture lights up here on this wall and let me just turn them on they look so good they look really 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 good i'm happy with them um under the picture lighting under the picture lights are going to be jersey frames um two of them under each light and the frames are going to have um jerseys from um, Bay's favorite team and in the middle is going to be like the crest for his favorite team so that's what's going to be going on with this wall here um, and then we're also decided to paint the entire basement so this accent wall is getting darker then we're going to go like a lighter gray um, all over the basement basically the whole entire basement is going to be painted so I think it's going to be looking amazing I'm getting new pillows here. Um, I'm going to start with maybe six of them to see how I like it. And then I may add more. And I'm contemplating if I need to change the carpet. But if we're going darker back here, I think the carpet might actually work to just bring more light into the room. So I'm really excited about where this project is going. It doesn't seem much right now, but I promise you, like, if everything in my head translates out well, then I think it'll be really nice in here. 
So this is the countertop that Lowe's just delivered. And this is going to be the countertop for our bar. It's a 10 foot countertop. It looks freaking huge right now. I don't think we needed exactly 10. We needed about nine, but um, our contractor said he can cut it um, to be precisely what we need. Also, he said he can cut this little back plate. Um, that you see up there because um, I have a, picked out a very gorgeous backsplash and we actually don't need that piece. So it's just going to be a straight piece, but I'm really happy with this countertop. We picked it online. I never got to see it or touch it or feel it in the store. So I'm really, really happy about that. This is the box for the picture lights. I purchased two of them from Amazon. And they were a very decent price. I don't remember them off the top of my head, but I was looking around for like brassy picture lights and you know, the price kind of ranged. I saw some that were really expensive and some that were more inexpensive. So these were more on the inexpensive side. And as you can see, I think they look really nice. So. I will link these in the description box for, box for any of you that are interested. I also wanted to show you guys this. This is going to be the pools for the bar. Oh, they are just so gorgeous. They look really good. They're like modern and clean. Um, they came recently when the bar was delivered in this box here. And, oh my God, they're just beautiful. Like, very aesthetically pleasing. I think this bar is going to come out gorgeous. That's the countertop. But, you know, just imagine a gray cabinet with gold pools and this countertop. I'm definitely getting, like, all the vibes. And, you know, we're doing not yellow, yellow, super, super gold, but kind of that brassy gold tone in here. So I think everything is just going to pull together really nicely and look really well. Um, the color of the bar is kind of similar to this. So just imagine cabinets like this and pools. Oh my God, that looks good. This. That should just smell good. It must be very popular. Everybody's You can't even really see, but this is the one can for the accent wall. The color is called Urban Bronze. I showed you the swatches earlier, and then we have five of the repose gray, which is going all over the basement. So that is the paint. Hey guys, so we are back from Sherwin-Williams, and we got all the paint we needed to get. We got a ton of paint. Um, so... Like I told you guys before, we're changing the color of our accent wall. We want to go darker. I want it to be moody, grown, and sexy vibes in here with like gold accents. I see the vision in my head, so I'm really just praying that everything comes to fruition in real life because I can like literally see it. So this color is pretty, but it just wasn't it. It, it wasn't working, so... Um, we picked up the darker paint for the accent wall and then we, we are painting the whole entire rest of the basement like I told you guys earlier and so we picked up five cans of paint for that and that's basically like five gallons and it was expensive no one ever told me how expensive paint was it was so expensive so I'm hoping that it's worth it I know everything is going to be really nice very beautiful so okay so i don't know if you guys can see this this line of demarcation here um so this is where we decided to stop the paint because that's basically like i don't know matches up with this thing right here so they stopped the paint right here but so this is the repose gray 
And then this is the previous color that we had before, which is City Loft. These are all Sherwin William paints, by the way, in case you're wondering. But so initially, after um, the contractor finished painting, Honey was a little disappointed because he felt like like the color was very subtle and he couldn't see any difference. But um, the thing I noticed about Sherwin Williams when we swatched it on our wall was that it takes time to show up. It really needs to dry in order to show up. So I just wanted to note that the whole basement has been painted, but it, you may not be able to notice it. So let me switch on the light. Okay, so ta-da! Amazing amazing do not mind the mess please excuse the mess but wow this is like better than I've that I even like imagined or fathomed so the first thing I want to talk about is the hardwood floor it came out so good it came out amazing I showed you guys the plank of the hardwood floor but this is like just beyond anything that I ever even imagined we even contemplating doing the rest of the basement but like i said i think uh we like the idea of having carpet where the movie area is so walking down they put in the floors today and then they put in pretty much a majority of the cabinet so there still needs to be some work done this cabinet is was purchased um, from a website and I can link it all down below and we had the fridges if you guys the mini fridge if you noticed before so now our contractor has to kind of fit it in because it, it's not you know meant to be there so he's gonna have to I guess get some kind of wood to raise the fridge so that it looks like it's built in and it's the same height as the rest of the cabinets and then he's also going to have to get a piece of wood to fit in right here and a piece of wood to fit in right there um because this wasn't a custom it wasn't really cut specifically for this space it doesn't fit perfectly but i still think it looks absolutely amazing so he still needs to put the backsplash up, which I'm so excited about that. Um, the countertop looks so good, if you guys can see. This is just an update. I will do a final reveal of this space once it's done. But since we only had space for one fridge, we put the other one right here. And I think that works pretty well. You can still access it open it just fine get what you need um he put the wine fridge here i will have him switch it we want the wine fridge here and then the beverage fridge here so i think that looks pretty darn good and then um moving to the next space this is just a quick rundown we changed the color of this accent wall i really really like it this is urban bronze by sherwin williams it's like this greeny gray like i don't even know how to describe the color but i think it pops so much better than the um sorry i think it pops so, so much better than the previous color and it just really kind of stands out more so yes and then these are our light fixtures that we put up there but yeah i don't know if it's coming off on camera i know i definitely can see it better here the white versus the gray but it is very subtle but um we meant it to be that way so but yes this is what we have going on so far he will be back to complete the job i believe on thursday so i will update you guys then hello all happy sunday it is actually easter sunday so happy easter to everyone 
I am dressed and ready. I'm headed to brunch with my mom and my sister. We went to church online and now we're just going to have a girls brunch and enjoy the really nice weather outside and each other's company. And later today I'll be taking my mom back home because she does live an hour away from me. So um, I have been cleaning this morning. Please excuse the mess behind me. I'm doing laundry. I'm cleaning being really productive but I'm taking a break so we can go out to lunch get something to eat enjoy the waterfront the weather and walk around so that is what we're about to go do so let's go Stay in the past to say. Wait, wait, 